It is January the 5th, 1066, and Edward the Confessor, King of England, is dead. Harold Godwinson, Earl of Wessex, is elected King of England the following day by the Witten. Harold also claimed that Edward named him his successor upon his deathbed. For Guillaume, this was an absolute betrayal. He believed the throne of England was his by right. He needed to ferry a massive army with their supplies, armor, weapons, and horses across the body of water now known as the English Channel. He began construction of a dockyard capable of building his fleet. Va dans la bourra. Parade pour venir. Sera massonata. Feliz el peat. With his fleet now built, Guillaume set about the momentous task of loading his forces. Quoi de labour? Movo. Et je lui m'en demande. Thames de retourner. Attention! 
With the winds now more favorable, and reports of Harold's army marching north to fight off a Viking threat, Guillaume was finally ready to launch his invasion. He plotted his course and set sail for England. Tuts audite. Norman historians tell us Guillaume received consent for the invasion from Pope Alexander II, thus making a conquest of England a holy mission. Guillaume would land at the old Roman fort of Pevensey. The Anglo-Saxons had taken up residence inside, but they would prove no match for Guillaume's trained soldiers. He landed his forces and took the settlement.
Coursor Obeyans. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Perfecté. Homme boulot. Cavallo ici. Respect. Kung Grand Course. Cavallo ici. Kung Grand Course. Oh yeah. Oh. Les Melsons sont ici. The promise of land and riches in England had spread far and wide. Knights and mercenaries alike flocked to Guillaume's cause in the hopes of attaining great rewards, a large number arriving from the recently subdued Brittany. foothold in England. From here, he would have time to secure his location and resupply his forces before marching north and meeting Harold in battle. It would be at Senlac Hill that Guillaume, Duke of Normandy, would come to be forever known as William the Conqueror. <laughs> 